What's good, my powerful people? Back at y'all with another video. Just for the men right here, tap in. You will always lose chasing women. Look, bro. I can't stress this enough. I can't plant this in y'all head enough. You men, my boys, you know what I'm saying? My guys. Look, bro. Especially in your younger years. You know what I'm saying? Chase, like, bro, women, they, gonna, they come and go, bro. So you got to understand Putting them above your purpose, putting them above your money, putting them above your grind, etc. You're not gonna have no money. You're not gonna have no. You're not gonna have no type of motion as long as you. As long as winning is number one in your life, you're not gonna have no type of motion, no type of money, no type of nothing. You get what I'm saying? You can't build anything for yourself when women is your top priority. You get what I'm saying? You gotta understand, bro. You out here chasing all these women. You gotta understand what come with it. You see what I'm saying? First of all. You exerting way too much energy. You giving them all of your energy. You giving them all of your time because you it takes time to chase them. You know what I'm saying? It get time for you to be trying to pull all these women. And the more women you try and pull, you gotta understand the more time you spend, the more energy. But the more you pull, the more money you spend in too. So it's like it don't matter. You, you know what I'm saying? It don't, it don't matter what the case is. It don't matter like if you take on a date, buy something to eat. You know it don't. You know what I'm saying? Y'all go to the movies, bro. Some type of energy. Some type of your time, your money, all that is being stripped away from you. You get what I'm saying? And it's like, you're not gonna end up with nothing. Like basically what I'm saying is, you're not gonna get no return on your investment when you're chasing women. Like chasing women, that's just gonna, that's just a continuous cycle that's just gonna lead you to rock bottom. You feel what I'm saying? Because at the end of the day, bro, women, they want, they like to the chase, but because they want to feel like wanted and appreciated and loved and things like that, but there's levels to it, bro. Because y'all be out here chasing women, trying to convince them to like you, chasing women that don't even like you in the first place. And then it's like, you have no type of, you have nothing going on in your life outside of chasing women. You wake up and the first thing on your mind is where, where they at. You feel what I'm saying? Like, you gotta want more for yourself, especially like, I understand like, if you may if you in school high school whatever the case may be then it's like you it ain't too too much that you're doing outside you, i mean I don't, i'm not in your life but you get what i'm saying most of your majority of your time is spent at school you might have a job or something like that like when you get out of school but majority of your day majority of your time and throughout your days is spent at school so i'm not saying like if you see a girl that's like choosing on you that you can't shoot your shot or just completely cope all times off with women and things like that and never you know what i'm saying never try and get no women but i'm saying you gotta have a balance, you gotta have discernment and your priorities gotta be straight. You feel what I'm saying? Because at the end of the day, bro, nice guys finish last. If you chasing them all day, they're gonna keep running away from you. You understand what I'm saying? Because the more you putting in the dude that she really want, the less that he doing. You feel what I'm saying? Because at the end of the day, the dude she really want, the dude she, she posting about, the dude that she trying to change, he not doing all this unnecessary unnecessary stuff. You get what I'm saying? He not trying to convince her. He not, he not doing all that, bro. It just is what it is. Who she posts about is who she care about the most. That's who she trying to change. You understand what I'm saying? When have you ever seen a woman post about a dude who just like, who do all, who always doing everything right? When they post it, when they make these posts and stuff like that, they making posts, but they bashing. You feel what I'm saying? They in their feelings, they in their emotions. Cause you gotta understand bro, they're all emotions. So the nice guy, he don't make, he don't put her on an emotional roller coaster. He don't make her feel different ways and things like that throughout the day you don't understand what i'm saying it's the same thing every single day she get tired of that she get bored she get curious so she want to venture off and find something new and you can't really even be mad at her for doing that but at the same time i can't be mad at Saul either because that's how we was raised up you understand what i'm saying like i didn't just i didn't i wasn't you know necessarily taught this i had to stumble upon this type of knowledge do my own research experiment you get what i'm saying things like that to be able to know what I know right now. Like basically what I'm saying is my parents, like nobody just sat down and taught me this in my, like in my family per se. Like my mama didn't put me on this type of game. My daddy did not put me on this type of game, bro. It came elsewhere, it came like as I got older, like like during school and stuff like that, bro. I, I didn't know all this what I know right now. So it's like, it ain't our fault, but at the end of the day, the knowledge is out there and you gotta understand through trial and error, you should see for yourself that chasing women ain't gonna get you nowhere. Chasing women ain't gonna leave you with nothing, but you, you see, when you on your grind, when you on your purpose, you digging and you building something up for yourself. That's when they, that's what attracts them. That's what, that's what they like. That's what makes them come to you. You get what I'm saying? When you holding on to your energy, your aura is something strong. It's a certain essence about you that 
they pick up on that attracts them to you. But when you're wasting all your energy, you're wasting all your time, you're wasting all your money, your resources, and you're just chasing them day in and day out, you're not going to have any women. You're not going to have any money. You're not going to have no type of motion. You're not going to have nothing going on in your life. It's just going to be a repeated cycle of you staying at rock bottom because your head ain't on it straight. Especially like as you get older, you really need to understand these types of things because at the end of the day, bro, how are you going to try and have one woman or even multiple women if you ain't got no money your mind your head ain't on right you put her above everything and it's just like you gotta just realize that's not gonna get you nowhere you gotta understand that like the knowledge is out here you gotta want more for yourself you gotta want to be it be like bro okay i didn't got my heart broke two and three times what have I been doing in a relationship that causes these types of things? You see what I'm saying? Because I'm going to tell you this now, bro. If you watching this and you just be like, oh, simped out and stuff like that, like you you a simp to your girl, you a simp in a relationship, bro. It's only a matter of time. Like, I hate to say it, but that's really the truth. Speaking from experience, you know what I'm saying? Y'all can vouch if y'all done been through it. It's only a matter of time before, you know what I'm saying, before you get stepped on, before your heart get crushed. So, but it's another thing. This, oh, See, I'm glad this just popped up in my mind. This is another thing. This right here is going to be your biggest enemy. You know what I'm saying? Let's say you've been in you in a relationship right now. And it's like you've been, you know what I'm saying? Let's say y'all been in a relationship for a year. In the first six months, you was just the biggest simp on the planet. But the last six months, you've been figuring things out. You've been understanding how they work and things like that. You ain't been really, you ain't been simping no more. You, under, you know the real now. That switch up. Like that's that's really like the worst thing that could possibly happen when you in a relationship is like you start off as a simp but then you pick up on game and it's like you switch you know what I'm saying you kind of it's like a switch because the woman she gonna pick up on that and, and it's like it's y'all gonna naturally get distant I ain't even gonna cap see y'all gonna naturally get distant so it's like it's best if you just soak up all this information soak up all this knowledge you know what I'm saying build yourself up build your money up build your physique up build your mindset up and things like that. And then try and deal with women that's on what you want because, bro, I'm telling you, like, if you a simp right now and you learning this game and things like that and you got a girl, bro, if you try, you can't just, like, up and switch those types of things out of nowhere because she going to pick up on that. She going to be like, bro, what are you doing? Like, you ain't even being yourself. You know what I'm saying? She used to you being a simp. So this new switch up and how you acting and treating and things like that, bro, that's just, honestly, that's just going to push her away. And I hate to say it like that, but that's really just what it is because... If you would have never known this type of knowledge, you would still be a simp. And nine times out of ten, she playing you, gonna cheat on you, don't respect you. It's one of those type of things. One of those type of things you gonna face. So at the end of the day, bro, you just gotta wanna, you just gotta want more for yourself. So you gotta understand that women, women should not be at the top of your priorities, bro. Like you should have, you should be working out. You should have money coming in. You should have some type of grind. You should have some type of side hustle. You understand what I'm saying? Just cause, like, bro. Who want to work a nine to five for the rest of their life? So it's like, even that ain't enough. You got to, what you want to build for yourself. You see what I'm saying? What you want your name behind. You understand what I'm saying? Because your name ain't nowhere on none of these people that you work for unless you work for yourself. You feel what I'm saying? That fast food restaurant that you're working at, bro, they can let you go today and they're going to have somebody new tomorrow. So at the end of the day, you got to have something for yourself. You see what I'm saying? Because in order for you to have all these women or in order for you to even have one woman, you got to have some type of money. But you got to understand dealing with all these women you're gonna be spending money so it's like you chasing and spending and splurging using all this energy what do you have left like what's coming back to you when you giving all that away you giving all your money away all your time away all your resources all your money i think i already said money but still what do you what are you getting back cheated on your heart broke lied to manipulated things like that you see what i'm saying it's like chase 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 you're gonna run into a wall every single time because chasing her makes her run away from you simple as that like i don't even have to go into in no type of detail about that like the more you chase her the more she gonna run away from you because the dude that she wants the most she chasing him why because he different why because there's more simps in the world than dudes that know this type of game you see what i'm saying it's more, the dude that she, that's floating in her dms they simping it's hard eyes and telling her how good she look all throughout her dms Dudes trying to, you know what I'm saying? What's your cash? Like, bro, dudes is down bad in this woman in, in these girls' DMs nowadays. Like, you gotta understand that. So, 
what makes her chase the dude that's not doing all that is that's different to her he's standing out so she want to know more it's like a certain level of mystery so that's what makes her chase him but it's like she never can fully figure him out all the way so it's a constant chase that's what you want not you constantly chasing her trying to convince her to like you splurging all your money and trying you know what i'm saying stuff you don't want to be doing all that it needs the roles need to be reversed like in the beginning you can shoot your shot you understand what i'm saying because if y'all ain't never met before y'all don't know each other nine times out of ten you got to be the one to shoot your shot but based upon her response and her feedback what she gives to you that's how you know how to move you know what i'm saying if she ain't really into you you leave it at that you don't try and convince her to like you you, you don't keep shooting you know what i'm saying you don't keep reshooting your shot thing like that if you shoot your shot one time you know what i'm saying me personally i ain't gonna say like bro if i was to shoot my shot at a girl and like it don't go in i'm not gonna like keep reshooting you see what i'm saying like if i was to reshoot i'm gonna give it like buku time before i shoot my shot again like, you don't want to just keep, you know what I'm saying? It's too many women for me to be trying to shoot at the same one. You see what I'm saying? So it's like, but that's how they think too. That's how they think too. Why would she be tripping over you? You chasing her and think, why would she be, you know what I'm saying? Tripping over you when she can get the same dude that's doing all the stuff that you're doing. She can just go pick one out of her DMs. You feel what I'm saying? But the dude that's being different, the dude that's not doing all this, the dude that's not complimenting her as much, the dude that's not giving her all of this time and attention and stuff that she really want, which makes her crave all that, which makes her chase him. You see what I'm saying? That's how you gotta be. Not chasing, because you gotta understand, bro. As long as you continuously chasing women, instead of chasing your grind, instead of chasing your purpose, instead of chasing excellence, you're gonna always lose. You're gonna always not have no women. You're gonna always not have no motion. You're gonna always be wasting your time. Be wasting your resources and things like that. You're never gonna get a good return on your investment because you're wasting your time. You're gonna keep getting your heart broke the more you keep chasing these women. You understand what I'm saying? Because bro, it's 2022 and you still out here chasing women. What are you building for yourself? You know what I'm saying? Where, where is your grind at? The time you could be spending that you out here chasing women, you could be grinding somewhere. You could be somewhere making some money. You could be somewhere meditating. You could be somewhere working out. Building yourself up, which gonna in turn gonna attract more women. You say that's a return on your investment. You build your body up, you start working out. More women are gonna be attracted to that because women don't want no fat dude. Women don't want no stick and bone skinny dude. You see what I'm saying? So at the end of the day, you when you invest in yourself, you're gonna get a return on your investment. You see what I'm saying? But when you when your investment is chasing women, you don't get no return on that. You feel me? So you have to be different. Like really let this sink in because this is literally society today. You out here chasing these women, nine times out of ten, they head not even on straight, bro. So it's like you chasing a woman that's not even necessarily good for you. Trying to convince her to like you. You know what I'm saying? Showing all these compliments. Bro, it, like nothing you can do is going to make her like you. You understand what I'm saying? If she don't like you, then she just don't like you. Like there's nothing you can do. You understand what I'm saying? It's like if you a simp in your relationship, at the end of the day, bro, it, like you can't you can't save her. It's not like, bro, because she going to do what she want to do at all times regardless. Like. You know what I'm saying? Like, let's say her last relationship was toxic and things like this. So you want to be the dude that's going to come and save her. You feel what I'm saying? Bro, you going to make her go back to her ex. You going to make her go back to old boy because you buying her. Because understand this. If a girl ex was like her most toxic relationship, things like that. And then she come to you and it's like you this perfect, you know what I'm saying? Mr. Nice guy and things like that. She not going to know how to even handle that because she used to this toxic stuff. That's what, and she gonna run back to that. Like she not gonna, she not gonna treat you right. She not used to being treated right and think, and you know, too perfect and stuff like this. So it's like you gonna push her away naturally because she's not used to this, and that's not what she wants. You understand what I'm saying? They always go back, bro. When it, when have you ever heard or seen a post, watched a video about a woman that broke up with a simp? You know what I'm saying? A Mr. Nice guy, those type of dudes. And it's like, she keep falling back for the dude. Never in my life have I ever heard something like that. But I bet you, I guarantee you done heard a scene or watched something about a dude that didn't cheat, you know what I'm saying, manipulated a to toxic ex that she can't that she can't stay away from, that she keep running back to, you get what I'm saying? So the proof is in the pudding. You see it every single day. You can't say it's cap. You can't say it's fake because I can pull up plenty of stuff to prove what I'm saying. But at the end of the day, you got you to gotta experience this for yourself because me saying is it. It ain't gonna make you do nothing. Me saying this ain't gonna make you stop simping. You feel me? Me saying this ain't gonna make you stop chasing women and get, make you get on your grind. You gotta want to do this. You gotta want more for yourself. So at the end of the day, bro, to get more women, you need to be getting on your own grind. You need to be focusing on yourself. You need to be building yourself up. That's internally and externally, bro. 
The smarter you are, the more women you can get. The more money you can make. So the more women you can get. The better your physique is, the more women you can get. But the more women you chase, the more money you're going to lose. You feel what I'm saying? The more time you're going to waste. So at the end of the question is, what do you want? Do you want to be wasting your time? Do you want to be chasing all day and not end up with nothing? Do you want to be wasting your time? Or do you want to build something up for yourself, build yourself up and actually attract what's meant for you? You feel what I'm saying? Attract women that match what you got going on. Because you chasing and things like that, you're not, you're not finna meet nothing that... Chasing is using too much energy. Nothing's mutual. Nothing is attracting when you chasing. But when you grind and building yourself up and then she see that and then she comes into your realm, that's how you attracted her. But when you running around chasing her, floating in DMs all day, trying to see how many numbers and women you can pull and you ain't got no type and you ain't been to work all day, you ain't did not one push up, you ain't ate no food or nothing, but you done been to McDonald's, you done been to Whataburger, you done drunk three sodas, you ain't drunk no water all day. You ain't even meditate, you feel what I'm saying? But you've been scrolling on the media all day. So your priorities got to get straight first and foremost. Like these women, they going to come and go, bro. If, especially if you young, like your main focus is a woman. Like, bro, you just got to want more for yourself. Because at the end of the day, I want everybody. I want all my guys that's watching this. I want y'all to win. I want y'all to be top, on the top. You feel what I'm saying? I want y'all to be one step ahead of, you know what I'm saying? The other dudes, your other competition and things like that. Because at the end of the day, bro, we the top dogs over here. If you watching this video, you know what I'm saying? We the top dogs over here. So you gotta know this type of stuff, but it ain't it ain't enough to just listen. You gotta apply this type of stuff to your to your everyday life. You feel me? Chasing ain't gonna get you nowhere. Chasing these women, they gonna be here. Exactly. You feel me I'm saying? They're not going nowhere. So stop chasing them and chase your grind, chase your purpose, chase excellence, and then watch how many watch how many women you pull. You feel what I'm saying? The more you chase, the more the quicker and faster you're gonna get replaced. Things like that. You know what I'm saying? Build your money, yo. Build your body, yo. Build your uh, your mindset up. Get your mind right. Get your priorities together. Build your foundation up. Create something for yourself. Get on your purpose. And then they are, they gonna, that's how they come to you. You feel what I'm saying? You want to know what's the easiest way to attract women? Get on your grind. Stop chasing them all day. Stop putting them up here. And then, you know what I'm saying? Put Get your priorities straight. That's what I'm saying. If she at the top of the list, you ain't going to never have no sustainable relationship. You're not going to have no sustainable quality women in your life. Because at the end of the day, I ain't saying like... You ain't gonna never just get no women chasing them, but you ain't gonna get no good quality ones that you want. Like if you chasing them, you probably gonna, you know what I'm saying? You gonna pull something that's for the streets. You get what I'm saying? But you ain't gonna pull nothing of value that's of quality. Just chasing them all day. You feel me? Because at the end of the day, nine times out of ten, bro, I guarantee you, every probably every woman on this planet can give you some type of post, can make some type of post about some type of toxic ex. I, I guarantee you. I kid you not. So you gotta understand, like. When are they ever talking about some type of nice guy? Some dude that's just treating us all right. Never. Never. If the if the toxic dude treating her right, it's, it's a balance. You know what I'm saying? He ain't just only doing, you know what I'm saying, only doing everything right. It's a balance. He, he making her feel a certain way. It's an, it's an emotional roller coaster. Y'all need to understand what that means. Emotional roller coaster. You got to play with her emotions a little bit. You feel what I'm saying? You can't do the same thing every day. You can't tell her the same thing. You can't act the same. If it's the same, she gonna get, if you do the same every day, she going to get bored at the end of the day. You feel me? So you gotta switch it up, bro. It's emotions, it's emotions, it's emotions. That's what keeps her attached because her emotions is all over the place. But a simp keep her emotions like this. So she wanna go somewhere else. And when you chasing, she gonna run away. But when you building yourself up, grinding, stacking your money, you gonna attract. So forget chasing, we attracting. How do we attract? By building ourselves up, by getting our money right. Mind, body, all it, internally, externally. The more you elevate, the better quality that you're going to attract. But when you're chasing, you're going to keep... Bro. Like, look at it like this. The more you're chasing these women and things like that, the more you're chasing and wasting your time, the quality of women is only going to be so high. And, I, and I'm and i using high just for lack of a better term because it's not high. But when you actually building yourself up, focusing on yourself, the ones that you are going to attract, it's going to match exactly what you got going on in your life. You feel what I'm saying? So if you own your stuff, the women you're going to be attracting is going to be on your stuff. So at the end of the day, it's up to you. If you really want some good quality, high quality women that's, that bring value, that add things to your life, that's not just draining your um, energy, time, money, etc., then you're going to listen to this video and you're going to get on your grind. Let them come to you. You feel what I'm saying? If you like this video, like, comment, subscribe, and I'm out.